The UK is a fantastic place to do engineering and biology. And we've got a very coordinated approach. We've had a roadmap for many years, which we're following, which coordinates the government departments, the academic departments, business, in a way that no other country is doing right now. Engineering and biology has many practical applications. Obviously healthcare, vaccine production and development. I mean, vaccines have been the biggest healthcare development, saving more lives than any on the planet. So our vaccines are all based on an engineering biology approach or a synthetic biology approach. Uh, we're using a bacteria as a delivery vehicle. Uh, so essentially you swallow a capsule if you're an adult or young children who cannot swallow capsules, they drink a liquid. That liquid passes through the stomach, also the capsule passes through the stomach and gets into the small intestine. And there it dissolves and releases the bacteria. These bacteria which we have engineered, they automatically through the evolution of themselves have actually the ability to enter through the gut lining and then they get engulfed by the human body's immune cells. This is all part of the natural way that they have evolved. What we're doing is exploiting the ability of these bacteria to survive inside of immune cells and we've programmed them to make the vaccine exactly there within the immune cells. So in other words, you're not swallowing a vaccine per se, you're swallowing the bioreactor that makes the vaccine from inside of your own cells. The difference between our vaccines and traditional injected vaccines is that unlike injectable vaccines that travel throughout the body and therefore could cause more side effects, ours is a very targeted approach. You're swallowing the bioreactor. That bioreactor gets to the immune cells exactly where you want it to be and there and only there does it produce the vaccine. So in healthcare, obviously engineering biology, we try to make medicines that are built up from scratch. In some ways we are programming bacteria or programming viruses or using bacteria, viruses or cells to make medicines. Uh, we have several diseases that we work on. Uh, one is chlamydia, which is a sexually transmitted disease. Uh, we also have a vaccine against uh, plague. Uh, we also have a vaccine against Clostridium difficile, which is a hospital acquired infection, mainly affecting the elderly. And we also have a vaccine against uh, typhoid and paratyphoid. Biology has so many different applications to help us with our environmental issues. It can help in a re remediation context where we have microbes that can suck all the contaminants out of polluted soil. Or it can help us create new bioplastics, it can help us create chemicals in more sustainable ways, breaking our reliance on the oil economy. When you're producing uh, from renewable sources, obviously there are environmental benefits, lower carbon, lower use of fossil fuel resources, and that's important. Really, we're looking at uh, uh, chemicals that are similar in molecular form to existing chemicals, but some of ours may have, for example, fewer impurities. Our acetone, for example, doesn't have any benzene in it, which is obviously a, a, a bad actor in a petroleum-based acetone. So sometimes we can look at, because we can give higher purity, it gives uh, fewer uh, impurities and therefore irritants in the product. When we're looking at making the same molecules, if you compare the petroleum process, they have to crack the crude oil, they have to go through a chemical synthesis that's expensive and uses a lot of resources. What we're doing is taking sustainable sugars and engineering the microbe to take it in one step from the sugar to the molecule we want. So the products we're making today are acetone which goes into personal care applications like nail polish remover or butanol that goes into specialty coatings. For the future, we're engineering a wide range of molecules that can address these sort of sophisticated needs in personal care, coatings, flavours and fragrances. The tools we have today, quite frankly, are not fit for purpose doing it in an artisanal way. We have to improve that, go to automation, go to computer science. When we started Synthase, we wanted to be a company that would make chemicals from biology. And we invented Anther, our software, to increase our own productivity. Our own productivity of doing experiments in the lab went up three orders of magnitude and our costs fell dramatically. At that point, we realized the software was going to be more valuable to lots of people than any chemical we could make. And so that's the path we took. I think we're going to see radical changes in the next 10, 20 years through the application of biology. I think it's going to actually help us to cure some diseases which we thought were going to be totally uncurable. It's going to help us live more sustainably and happily on this planet. I see enormous potential. It is the technology of the 21st century.